Morning Church. Pray that you're well. Pray that you're on fire for serving God in your workplace today. Um, I'm going to start today's devotional by telling you a little bit about myself and my work environment and from that you'll likely see some of the challenges that I face on a day-to-day -day basis as a Christian trying to make an impact in the workplace. Um, and I'll talk about one of the main ways I go about doing it and one of my favourite scriptures for kind of um, reminding me um, of who I work for. Okay, so I spent the last 20 years working in the nuclear industry um, and it's an industry which is established and rooted in scientific study and scientific fact. Um, and it's an industry where science is king, not just theory, but scientific fact. And it's, you know, theory is great, but until you can prove something, it is just theory and has no real value. And it essentially means that I'm surrounded by people who only believe in what they can see, what's tangible, what they can prove beyond reasonable doubt. So I don't meet many Christians. Um, in fact, I've met two in the 20 years um, that I've been working in the industry. However, what it does do for me, it provides me with an opportunity to stick out like a sore thumb um, when it comes to demonstrating God in the workplace. And there's a few ways I go about doing so, from sort of demonstrating the fruits of the spirits in my day-to-day -day, um, interactions, offering to pray for people when they have a need. I don't hold back my faith but I don't need to shove it in people's faces either um, for them to see that there's something different about me. Um, but one of the key ways I go about demonstrating God in the workplace is through my work ethic, um, which brings me to today's verse. So, um, Colossians 3, verse 23 to 24, whatever you do, work at it with all of your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward, it is the Lord Christ you are serving. So I love this verse. Um, and as with everything that we think, believe, say or do, it's a reminder that God sees all. We're ultimately representing and serving him in all we do. Um, you know, we all have human masters. We all serve somebody in the physical world in one way or another. Um, and the above verse speaks to me of honour and integrity and both of those things drive my work ethic. So honour, what do we mean? Well this is about honouring those that we work for, those people that we serve or represent, whether it be paid or voluntary service. And how do we honour those human masters? Well, we speak kindly of them, we don't engage in gossip or small talk about them, we respect the position that they hold. We can respectfully question them, we can challenge them, we can keep them accountable in their roles as our leaders, and we can engage them in open dialogue about our personal work situations. We can ask them for advice and support. By honouring our human masters in this way, as if they were the Lord himself, we demonstrate that we ourselves are people of honour. And therefore, as a result, we'll be trusted with more and rewarded with more. Um, and then integrity. So how do we demonstrate that we're people of integrity? We should always be striving to deliver what we say we're going to deliver. When we say we're going to deliver it by, and to the quality that's expected of us. By delivering what we say we're going to deliver to the quality that we're capable of, we might be rewarded with great responsibilities. Um, it might ultimately result in promotion, pay rises, bonuses, a company car, healthcare, you, whatever. You might get some physical reward for that. But if we can imagine how we might be rewarded in the physical realm, through our work ethic, just imagine what our inheritance from the Lord is going to be by going about our business in serving him and not our human masters. Um, so as Christians wanting to have an impact in the workplace, we need to talk the talk and we need to walk the walk. And that's what the, the above verse speaks of. Um, no one's 100% motivated every single day. In fact, there's a lot of days where I struggle to stay motivated, especially when I'm working from home. You know, there's distractions. I want to spend time with my wife and children. I can't keep myself away from the fridge or the coffee machine. And I constantly need to remind myself that I will be judged physically and spiritually for my performance and behaviours and delivering what I say I'm going to deliver. And I use Colossians 3 verses 23 to 24 as a reminder of who I actually serve. And we serve an omniscient, all-seeing God. So there's no getting away from it, whether you're working in the office in front of the eyes of your human masters 
or you know, working at home in your own little office and your human masters out there, there's always somebody watching and you need to remember that. Be a person of integrity. And being a person of integrity is about being able to you know, deliver what you say you're gonna deliver, whether you're under the watchful eye of your human masters or not. Um, now, if we behave, uh, sorry, combine our behavioral attributes with a strong work ethic, um, it'll result in others stopping to actually take notice and potentially ask the question, why are you so different? And this then has a really powerful potential to make those around us receptive to hearing about our faith. So without us openly, you know, shoving it in people's faces, we can show them that we're different and, you know, that those differences are good differences and they'll start to question why are you so different? So there's a really good opportunity to do that. Um, so last point, if you're currently praying for a breakthrough in your workplace and it seems to be getting you nowhere, consider the above. Are you honouring those that you work for? What's your work ethic like? Do you deliver on your promises? More often than not, I find that prayer also requires action. So if you're praying for a personal breakthrough in the workplace, say to yourself, I'm going to talk the talk and I'm going to walk the walk. Do what I say I'm going to do, okay? and you will be rewarded in the physical realm, the spiritual realm, and people will see that there is something different about you. Now, go out there and have a great day, church. Go and just love people in your workplace. And most importantly, work hard, honor your masters, work with integrity. Love you, bye.